signed a new deal about a month ago. Um, I just wondered, kind of looking back on your Brighton experience, if you could kind of sum it, sum up the journey. Yes, yeah, already been a quite a long journey. Yeah. Uh, I've been here now four years, I think. And uh, yeah, first two years I was on loan. Mm. And then I came back and last year I didn't play a lot. Then by the end of the season I was more playing in the team and did well. So I was like full of confidence for this pre-season. Then went well in pre-season, yeah. From there on I played uh, a lot of games and been in a good form. I think we're doing good in the league. We're still in the Europa League and in the FA Cup. So yeah, for us it's a good season. Hopefully with a good uh, second half of the season as well. Yeah, it's been amazing, the, the journey. And, and but what do you feel like that sort of turning point was for you to making that step into the first team and becoming such a, a like playing such a crucial role, I guess? Uh, yeah, I was before, I was in the championship, so I was like, yeah, I was quite of a jump to the Premier League. Mm -hmm. So I found like the first year and also with the manager changing and uh, Roberto Zerbi uh, changed a lot of things. So, so I was not really used to the way of playing, but then I found like after a few months I was getting better every every training session. And then I was like, yeah, if, if I get a chance now, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. And then yeah, the chance came up at the end of the season. and did well and then yeah I was full of confidence for this season and yeah I think now you see I'm uh, ready to play uh, every game in the Premier League. You seem like you fully like immersed yourself in the club and, and you know kind of live and breathe every goal every celebration and that sort of thing and um, what is it that you love about the club and, and also the city as well? Yeah, maybe sometimes too much uh, celebration. <laughs> I don't even score by myself, but it looks like it. <laughs> no, but no, I love the club, the people. I think they're, they're really, uh, really nice people here. And also the city, it's quite relaxed. And yeah, it's just a nice city at the coast and with the beach. And now I'm really enjoying life here. What's your favorite spot in the city? Maybe a little landmark or something? Yeah, I was, we, I, I'm from in Holland also, like close to the beach, so I love the beach so always walking down the beach so that's my favorite part of Brighton for sure and like I feel like you, you spoke about that step into Premier League football and things like that and I think you caught a lot of people's attention and obviously Brighton played Man City um, keeping Erling Haaland um, quiet what what was that sort of like for you what was that experience like I guess yeah, it was more before the game. I wasn't really sure because you play against the best striker probably in the world. Yeah. And then I was like, yeah, let's see how good I am. And uh, yeah, I have nothing really to lose. If he scores, he always scores. So, But then I uh, went well and we had a good a good battle with him and he didn't score and it was a, a good game for me. So yeah, and then also I got a boost of confidence. I'm like, yeah, I can play at this level. And now I showed against the best. So hopefully it's more to come. And then yeah, after that uh, went well. What was it? What was it like playing with someone, like going toe to toe with someone, a player like that? I guess in your career. Yeah, and that was also like one of the first times I played against maybe the best one. Mm. So, now nah, yeah, it's he's really good. So you need to be pay attention on him like almost every minute because he can score in like this. And yeah, no, nah, that was a really good battle, and yeah, hopefully uh, there's more to come against him. And obviously, sealing that place in the Europa League, um, what did that mean to you, and, and playing a role in that? Yeah, no. If you see now also in the in the Europa League, how nice it is to go away games and the fans are loving it, and uh, yeah, it's just a different experience, more games. So uh, now it's for for the for this season, it's it's great, and uh, yeah, if we achieved it last season. There was a big celebration, of course, for the first time in the history of the club. So now it's nice, and we're enjoying it this season as well. Hopefully, you can come a far uh, far away. And I and your family is obviously steeped in, in football culture. Um, I read that when you played in Amsterdam recently that your, your uncle was quite emotional watching your performance. Um, what's your uncle's reaction sort of been like to, to your journey and your form recently, I guess? Yeah, no, he's enjoying it as well. He played also like for, at the highest level, so he knows how it is. And, uh, 
yeah, he knows the nice parts and knows the, the bad parts. So, no, but he said as well, he's really proud. And every time he watched me every game, and and hope hopefully I uh, do well. But no, he's really proud. And yeah, of course, when you play against the Ajax, the biggest club in Holland, probably, and then uh, winning away, yeah, that's made him a bit emotional. I think more people in my family. Yeah, and he's obviously played in a, a World Cup final. Um, did he tell you stories when you were a bit younger or did anything kind of stick with you from maybe memories of his or stories that he's told you? Yeah, no. He I've, I've heard a few stories. He said that, that they were robbed in the final against Argentina. <laughs> That's how he speaks about it sometimes. <laughs> no, he said, but that was an amazing experience. I think my granddad was there as well to to uh, go to the, all the games and nah, and then everyone was watching in front of the telly. So that yeah, was a different time because, uh, I don't know, 50, 50 years ago maybe, 40 years. So it's a different time, but now nah, he said he has great stories about it. Was, did he did he he kind of get you into football? Is he the person that sort of inspired you, or? Uh, mm. It was my, almost my whole family, mm. so my whole family is like football-minded and love football. So yeah, I have three brothers as well. They all play football. My parents were loving football, so yeah, of course it helps when uh, your uncle is uh, was a professional footballer. So that's more like yeah, I want to be like him. And also earlier you touched on Roberto De Servi, but um, what's it like working with him? He seems like. Um, He's just injected this amazing life into the club, and yeah, he seems great to work with. Yeah, no, I think he's amazing. He's uh, really good for me and really good for the club. And if you see the progress what we made this season, also last season, of course, when he came in, I think uh, yeah, we always go forward and in the right direction. And yeah, you see again in the results. What I said, we're still in the FA Cup, still in the Europa League, and also good in the Premier League. Also, we have a lot of injuries, so it's it's not easy. But yeah, we find our way, and I think uh, hopefully we can uh, achieve this season also big. Team Things. And yeah, it's also a lot of credits to the manager because yeah, if I think it's uh, quite unique the way we play. Yeah, and, and what are the targets this season, and how far do you think you can go? This side can go because he's quite a perfectionist, isn't he? He's I don't know. Even when you get these amazing results against big clubs, he's still like these are the targets that I've set out, and obviously you're hampered with injuries as well. But well, what are the targets, and, and how far do you think you guys can go? Yeah, now it's it's also sometimes you. Like it's hard to say, of course, we want to win the FA Cup and we want to win the Europa League, but yeah, it's also like what is the draw and how many injuries do you have and it's a bit of uh, everything. But I think when you're in a cup, when you're in the Europa League, yeah, you want to win it and you want to come all the way. And in the Premier League as well, I think we're in the right spot and a few players coming back. So you feel like we're getting stronger and so uh, yeah, hopefully we can go there also a bit up in the table. That would be good for us as well and hopefully next season we have Europe again. Yeah, and, and your performance is awesome caught a lot of attention back in your home country. Obviously they qualified for the Euros this year. What are your sort of hopes and aims of, of reaching the tournament potentially? Uh, yeah, I hope uh, I, I will be there. So uh, it's, it's just to myself, to my own performance. If I'm doing well and just keep performing, Maybe I have a chance. I don't know. That's to the to the manager of uh, of Holland, uh, Kuman. But yeah, there are also a lot of good defenders. So I hope I'm on his radar and he's looking to me, and and then I can prove myself. Uh, I'm good enough. I think I'm good enough. So hopefully uh, I can be there. Have you spoke to your uncle about I don't know the experiences of? A major tournament, or yeah, yeah. Now nah, he's telling me it's one of the best things on, in football, like going to a tournament with your mates almost and trying to win it. And he he's saying as well, he should be there. So hopefully.